Hello and welcome to another video. This weekend we wanted to try a campsite attached to a pub. So we are here at the Batten Ball in Whisper Green, West Sussex for just a couple of nights. This is a great place for us to stay. It's a really nice vibe, it's very relaxed. The pitches are huge um, and it's a really good basic layout. Yeah, and the pub here is really well known for its food. We've got dinner booked here for tonight. Um, so very excited to give that a try. But first, we're gonna grab some breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna make it a bigger breakfast so we can uh, maybe skip lunch and get ready for a big dinner later. I'm going full three courses. Oh, are you? Yeah, aren't you? I'm up for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, before we do anything, of course, we have to have breakfast. And if you're staying in a pub campsite and the pub's not quite open, you definitely need to cook your own fry up on your trusty teppanyaki grill. Um, but I'm interested, are you Club Teppanyaki or are you Club Kadak? Leave us a comment below and let us know. We don't have a Kadak. breakfast is served. We have a nice breakfast of uh, vegetarian sausages, egg and tomato. And we bought these new egg rings to help us cook eggs on the teppanyaki. They're perfect. Re work really, really well. So uh, I'm going to dish up the eggs first. Unfortunately, the yolk broke on that one. You're yoking. I'm not yoking. <laughs> sausages. Three sausages because we need our energy. Yes, it's going to be a hard day of sitting down. It is. Okay, well that's breakfast done. How about a little tour of the site? The site is located just outside Whisper Green in West Sussex, and it's really well located for exploring the local area. If you have kiddos, they're also going to really love the fact that Fisher's Farm Park is just five minutes walk away from the site for a really fun day out. Also, the access to the site via the pub car park could be a bit of a squeeze if you have a bigger unit. The pitches are arranged over three decent sized fields. It's fairly open as you can see, but each pitch is marked out really well and is nice and spacious. The electric hookup is reliable and there are water points conveniently located around the site. It's open to caravans, campers, motorhomes and tents. They even have a few shepherd's huts and a bell tent. There's a really well appointed and modern toilet and shower block and of course grey water and chemical loo emptying points and a bit of a basic washing up area too. Overall it's really well kept and it has everything you need including a pub. It was very quiet when we stayed, but our friends tell us that it can get really busy in the summer months. Well, that's the tour done, but the dog now needs his walk. driven a very short distance from the campsite to find a footpath in the woods to give Dozer a little bit of a walk. He doesn't need much these days so sort of 10-15 minutes stroll through the woods is good enough for him. Just enough to stretch his legs. And ours. Come on little slow coach. Mac is 
posting on Instagram a couple of uh, the videos that we took of making our breakfast earlier and I can hear the sausages sizzling on the video that he took. It's making me hungry again. I am really looking forward to that dinner at the bat and ball later. It's going to be very good. Also, if you don't follow us on Instagram, check us out. walked across some open ground and very very light rain started to fall and now we've entered the woods again it started to tip it down so <laughs> that was perfect timing let's hope we don't get wet we're back from our walk we've just been relaxing for a little while and dozer is having a good snooze which is a good thing because he has a big surprise in store later. We're being joined for dinner by two of our friends and they are bringing their golden retriever doggo Jensen, who is Dozer's oldest friend. They went to puppy school together when they were little babies and now they are grown up old men and he hasn't seen Jensen for a little while. So I think he is gonna be very, very happy. The Batten Ball has a simply beautiful pub garden, absolutely bursting with colour. With several different areas, there's lots of lovely places to eat and drink outside. Old red phone box is a very cool feature which actually houses a small book and DVD library. There's even a big pond with some very cute ducks. Your buddy Jensen will be here soon. Dozer? Where's Jensen? Jensen? We've been trying to tell Dozer that his best ever buddy Jensen is coming to visit, but unfortunately he's a little bit deaf. A few years back, if you'd have said Jensen from the other end of the house, he'd have been, where? Where's Jensen? <laughs> but it doesn't work now, does it? No. Can't oh, hear boy. it. <laughs> yeah. Is that your best friend? Is that your best friend? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Hi. We didn't film much as we were busy having fun with our friends, but please enjoy these wholesome shots of Dozer and his best buddy Jensen. The inside of the pub is cosy with dogs welcome in the lounge and bar area. The menu has some pub classics, platters and salads as well as some veggie and vegan options. We started our meal with marinated prawns and halloumi fries. The prawns were big and juicy with a light delicious garlic flavour. For mains, Mac had the vegan chicken and bacon penne, which he said was mouth-wateringly good, and I definitely had dinner envy. Our friends had fish and chips and burgers, and I had the veggie quiche of the day. Unfortunately, we were just too stuffed for pudding in the end. <laughs> well that is us packed up and ready to go but we thought we'd give you a quick review of the bat and ball pub campsite before we go 
This is um, something we want to try for a while, uh, a campsite attached to a pub. Um, this one is only 40 minutes away from home, so a good uh, place to try out the concept for us. On the whole, I think the campsite has been really good. Um, it's been pretty quiet, hasn't it? It has been really quiet. Our friends who live nearby, who we had dinner with last night, say it can get really busy in the summertime. So if this is somewhere that you're interested in staying, I would definitely recommend booking. It's been fairly quiet while we've been here, which has been nice. It has, and a, and a few people have um, shown up without a booking and because the site's practically empty at the moment. Um, they've been able to just rock up and pay on the day. Um, it's a great place for families, I think. The Fishers Farm Park, as you'll have seen in the video, is literally five minutes walk down the lane. The food in the pub is amazing. Not and the pub garden is beautiful. Oh, stunning. It is one of the most beautiful pub gardens I think I've ever, ever been in. It's really yeah, lovely. Agreed. It's not the cheapest of pubs, I'll be honest. Um, it's probably at the like higher middle end, um, but the food is really good. And we only ate there one night out of the two that we stayed here. Um, five minutes drive down the road, there's a convenience store, um, petrol station, they're building an Aldi as well actually. So you've got some conveniences really close if you're gonna just stay in your van or your tent or your motorhome or whatever and cook. Um, but all in all, what would you give it out of five? Oh, maybe maybe a four and a half. I, I, I was thinking four and a half, yeah. yeah. I don't know what will make it a five, Maybe just there's the road just over there, a little bit of road noise, but not at night. I mean, you don't, you barely hear it. But um, but it is definitely really really nice. We'd recommend staying. Obviously, we'll link it below so you can know where to to go if you'd like to. Um, and also, if you know of some yes. good pub campsites, let us know. Drop them in the comments. Yeah, we'd love to know. And it's also good to share with other people who might be interested as well. But meanwhile, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you fancy checking out more of our videos, we'd love to have you along. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you. Bye.